Hello, 7K team, family, group. Whoa. I'm excited. Everybody, everyone knows this past week uh, I made executive go, and I had a little chance to have a little chat on the corporate call, but I want to tell the rest of the story, the full story, the whole story, because as I said that night, and I'll say again, and I'll always say, it's not because of me. It's because of you. Each and every one of you are the reason I'm an executive goal. From day one, I'm going to go back to day one. From day one, when Richard Hanson called me in November of 2016, and said, we're going to do it all over again. Five on the left, five on the right, above average check. It's gold and silver. And this time we're going to have a residual, Bob. We're going to have a, a collectible coin that you buy every month to get points. And people can develop a an ongoing check. Because, see, although my background, I'm a chemical engineer, got a master's in business, I... I, I uh, you know, worked in the chemical plants, designed them, built them, plant manager, worked my way up that corporate ladder in Fortune 50 companies. I had that first career, but I didn't know about network marketing. I got introduced to network marketing when I was a top level corporate executive, making almost a double six figure income, making them more than a six figure income plus all the benefits and everything, in 1991. I was looking to buy a franchise. Had, had, had done much research, much negotiations, had secured bank loans because I wanted to be in business for myself. I saw after all that hard education, hard work, that when you're your own boss, you can truly build wealth. And that was my first four way into network marketing. I had never been prospected for network marketing. I guess I was on everybody's chicken list. Let no one be on your chicken list. One of my marketing exists. So I got into a lotions, potions, and pills business. Very good. $2.8 billion company today. Great. We, In fact, we still use the products from that company. But it gave me an insight because, see, I researched network marketing. I saw network marketing was nothing more than many franchises. You could start up your own business and it was available to everyone and you didn't need a hundred grand or 200 grand down and you didn't need to buy a franchise. You didn't need, and to start a traditional business is even much more risky and much more costly. That's why so many businesses go out of business. That's why so many network marketing, multi-level marketing companies go out of business. Because it takes capital. It takes time. It takes effort. When network marketing, you started as a side gig. And that's a proven industry over 75 years old. No, Amway wasn't the first one. It was Shackley. And even there were a couple of others, if you really look into the history of multi-level marketing, even before then. But here's the real key. Everyone can participate. Everyone in the United States in particular can get 1099 tax business as a home-based business. And you really need to understand these things. And you can succeed. But there's some secrets to success. We're going to talk about those today. They're all going to be totally unveiled here today. Well, that company... I quit my job. I, I walked out of a double six-figure income to do network marketing full-time in 1994. 
but I did not replace my income after working it for 18 months. So I wanted to see what I did wrong. Well, I didn't do anything wrong. It's just that company went through my head, started in 1984, right along with Malaluka. Both those companies pretty much started at the same time. I looked at both of them in my research. And so I, uh, I said, whoa, I, it's going to take me another 10 years to get to where I want to make the money that kind of my leaders are making. And it was a multi-level marketing plan, a breakaway plan. And you, you literally had to have about 20,000 plus people in your organization to make a significant income. And uh, the qualification was pretty hard. So a lot of my people didn't do it. They made minimums. They made money. But they didn't make the money I made. I knew about gold and silver. I was in gold and silver because I knew about fully diversifying. But I was looking around for another company. I was literally searching to actually like change jobs because I needed to find a company that I could succeed in in this fabulous industry called network marketing. And I did in 1996. Now I'm, I'm going to tell you about that company because it's relevant to the future success of 7K and your success. Because, see, you don't have to look for another company. You're at the right place at the right time with the right company, with the right products, and you have a chance to participate in helping this company become that billion dollar and participating in that S-curve of total momentum growth for 10, 15 years or more. That's how you get wealthy. See, I mixed that with that company, and I knew that. I've got a chart. I've got some trainings in the past. We'll revive them about different businesses and how you compare different businesses, traditional business, network marketing, franchise, a job. But hopefully this does it here today without having to have that kind of little detail. But while I was looking, one ran into me. It was about 18 months old. It already started. Already went through some trials and trials, and it was a gold and silver company, but it did not have a residual. But gold and silver and earning gold and silver and getting 1099 tax benefit, that made sense and had a simple binary. Five on the left, five on the right, make above average check. Have five more and five more and make another check. Five more and five more and make another check. Earn gold, earn silver. Powerful. I jumped in all 10, 14 feet, hands, arms, legs. I converted my organization into gold and silver. Now, they didn't all jump with me at the same time, but my leaders all came with me at the same time. So it gave me a kickstart. So I started making 6,600 a week real quick. Well, 6,600 a week, you can, you can calculate it yourself. That put me back in that double six-figure income. But, oh, I made millions more. And I developed an organization of 70,000. And I was not at the top of the computer. But I, I and another guy, we had the largest business in the company. Everybody else thought it was somebody else because they were always on stage and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I was on stage, but I didn't do the tapes and all that kind of stuff. They all thought it was somebody else. Richard Wayne Hanson, I met him. He was top of the computer. I was making more money than Richard Wayne Hanson and earning a lot more gold and silver. That's where I met Richard. 
I got spoiled at the young age when that company transitioned into a dot-com company and dot-com bust happened at late 2000, 2001. The owner of that company closed the doors. But at a young age, 2000, born 46, you can calculate it. I was 54 and I was set for life with the gold and silver and the millions we had. I could live to a ripe old age. I calculated it out at 85 and still live a great living if we didn't lose it. And I was secured by gold and silver, all the gold and silver that we had earned and bought and purchased during that five-year period. But I also got spoiled at an organization of 70,000 people. And then it's over with. I was looking for another network marketing company. I couldn't find one. I, there, were, there were some other gold and silver companies around, but they weren't real. And I wasn't about to get involved with them just because they had gold and silver. So I went into real estate, real estate development. So y'all hear the whole story now, but this part's going to go quick. For 15 years, and I consulted in the network marketing industry for a while. I dabbled. I looked. And I dabbled. And I dabbled. But I never jumped all in because it was never something to jump all in in. Richard gave me that call in 2016. I'm 70 years young. Five on the left, five on the right. And I asked him one question, who's behind you? And he said, Roger Ball. Boom. That's all I needed to know. I knew that the company was going to have the financial footing that it needed. And Richard understood the binary formula. But, you know, we had a problem back in 2016 when we first started. You can only make $1,000 a month, a week. I'm sorry, a week. But that's okay. I, I wanted to teach people about gold and silver. And that's what the company's mission was. To make gold and silver affordable to the average person and help them make an above average check-in network market. And I knew the binary did that. I actually knew it for a fact. So did Richard. And so the four co-founders of this company started with a mission that I believed in. I got our 15 people together at George Donaldson, George and Senator Donaldson house on Friday night, November 17th. <coughs> All 15 joined. I sponsored Woodrow Venable and George Donaldson. I let everybody else sponsor each other under themselves. Okay. Made a team. On the way home that night, I made five phone calls to people I know that needed money. They were just like everybody else in America. They needed an extra income. One of them was Cindy and Delton Kaysen. Now, Delton was supposed to be retired. They had big medical bills. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But you need to hear about it. They had medical deals. They were living paycheck to paycheck because of all the medical bills. They didn't even own a home anymore. They took that credit card out and joined because I said join. They didn't look at a video. Nobody looked at a video. We just said, hey, look, it's gold and silver. It's an asset. You get 1099 tax benefit. Join me. We're going to win. We're going to work as a team and we're going to win. I'm going to teach you the skills, attitudes, and techniques, and we're going to work together and we're going to do this. George Donaldson's the most successful person in network marketing, and he worked with me previously. George, I tell you, I taught him everything he knew about network marketing. He'll tell you himself. But I want to tell you, all five of those people got in, and that was my right side. I maxed out the check that week, okay? 
first week. I mean, this was Friday night. The next day's payday, Saturday. But understand, we could only make $1,000 a week. And of course, I had a business family pack. Everybody knows what that is. And if you don't know that, inquire, because I've taught it from day one. I came in with a business family pack. I joined, I immediately put my my wife on one side and our company on the other side. And I, have, I joined as my company. Okay. So I got my wife and I, and we, we got, we, so we could make 3000 a week. See, that was, that was the whole plan. I, I'd done this before. Now 3000 weeks, significant income. That, I mean, it's not the same, <laughs> but it, it's good. <laughs> okay. 3,000 a week gets you more than a six-figure income. You just calculate it. It's uh, 156,000 a year in commission. That's pretty cool. Okay. And you're going to be developing uh, a legacy income. Okay. And you grow with the company. I knew what that meant. You help the company grow. You grow. Everybody grows. Everybody wins. It's a win, win, win. What's the risk of loss? Not doing it. So on the left team at Georgian Center Donaldson, Woodrow Venable, David Brewer, these are the names of why I'm that executive goal. Names that a lot are not even talked about, but I'm going to talk about them. Because I wouldn't be executive goal without these names. And many of you that's here listening right now, just hold up, your name's coming. Cecil Cavanaugh. Marilyn Cantwell, David and Linda King, Robin Julie Weger, Armina and Larry McVeigh, Larry Cola, Keith Lomas, Butch and Judy Johnson, Shane and Karen Vaughn. See, now they came later, but they're in that left team. Jim and Jennifer McClellan. See, they didn't join until 2020. Jim was just a customer for nine months. Oh, he kind of talked about it, but he didn't really do anything. For his first nine months. Then on my other side, I had my wife, Pamela. Reason I had Pamela, see, she became my first gold on my right side. Back then, you had to have ranks on your side. That's what I want to talk about. Delton and Cindy Kaysen, Lori and John Starks, Evelyn Ware, and she's on this call right now. Constance Meyer, Holly Zafflin. Oh, and their families, by the way. This is all with their families because all of them came in with a business family pack too and they got their families involved because that's the first persons we share with is our family. Maybe they join, maybe they don't, but at least we give them first opportunity to say no. Tiffany and Danny Clements over in New Mexico. Yeah, they were a silver. They made time when they didn't have time. They didn't join right away, but they're part of that left, that right team. So you got to have two teams. Rod Richard, Nick and Chris, Kristen Martell, Charlie and Sherry Monk, Catherine and Tony Bass, Team Bass. Y'all know Team Bass. They came later too. Mitch and Sherry Barney, the Weavers, the Spears, the Tianos. The Milfin family, Randy, Russell, Philip, the whole Mil Orion Milfin. I want to speak that name. Now, I'm telling you about these names here because these are names many of you may not have heard of, except maybe the Basses, and you probably heard of George because, see, he's the number one stacker in this company, number one stacker in this company for every year this company has been in existence. There's no one that outstacks. George and Sandra Donaldson. And he needs, some, they need some recognition. That's loyalty. These are people buying the products of the company. There is no bigger stacker. Now, when they gave the stacking award, George won it every year and he didn't win it by a little. He won it by a lot. And he outstacked me. And I buy a lot of gold and silver. But see, every time he buys these things, there's points and it comes up.
These are all what I call 7K lifers. See, they're here. They were here years ago when they joined, and they're still here, and they're still buying, and they're still promoting the business, trying to expand the business, talking to people at opportune moments. You've heard that before. Talk to people at opportune moments. <clears throat> then Gary and Carmen Caps, they joined too. And they joined before McClellan's. They joined in 2019. McClellan's didn't join until uh, April of 2020. Okay? And that's, there's a big part of this story. Why? Because, see, Gary and Carmen are 7K lifers because they have a huge business underneath them. This other part of the business. Well, see, we, we, we need to kind of move on. This is what built up slowly and helped me become a goal. And Pamela was a silver and George was a silver. George on my left side and Pamela on my right side. And But first, Danny and Tiffany. See, I had two personal sponsored people. So it gave me a little insurance factor. And back in those days, you had to have rank on left and right side. Now we had progressed. We moved on from $1,000 a week so we could make $7,000 a week. Hey, that became significant. That means... Other people I knew in network marketing were now prospectable. Oh, I started prospecting other people in network marketing that I knew. But I became so busy helping my team because, see, we work in teams. We, and that's what I teach to duplicate. We peak, we share, and we launch. We peak, we share, and we launch. You're hearing that a lot from the company now with Ryan Chamberlain, what we're teaching, peak, share, and launch. Because the simplicity of that is how we do it. And you work in a team, and then we brought, oh, I'm going to say a name you know now, Wayne Clark, brought him to the table, put him on my right side under, under Pamela, helped Pamela become a goal. So I had a goal on my right, and George became a goal a little, a little later. So I had a goal on my left and goal on my right. I could have become an executive goal many years ago. I didn't. And as Richard Wayne Hanson would tell you, I could have become a goal. And I didn't because I wanted Richard to be goal before me. He was at the top of the company. He started this company. If I'm not, why, why become a goal if I'm not going to get paid on it? Just because of the rank? Rank is meaningless unless you're making the money. That means you've got to build an organization underneath you. Well, yeah, I would have made a little extra money. Yeah, it did cost me a little money, but that didn't matter. Richard and I know this. But a lot of people don't know this. Because, see, Richard doesn't prospect and build in the business anymore, so I didn't tell the story. Okay. And it's nothing that I talked to Richard about ahead of time. It's just, it was what I wanted to do for Richard. There's a moral to this story. When you hear the whole story, I think it'll become abundantly clear. Well, Wayne was hungry. See, he had that burning desire. He, he was in network marketing. He was a broker. And he was going broke in his real estate business because of what happened in Baton, Greater Baton Rouge area in 2016, our great flood. And that was one of the reasons I was exiting real estate because it was going to become real work. And so I was hanging up my hat at 70 and finally retiring. Just have some fun, teach people about gold and silver on the side, which I always did. I always taught people everybody needs to have gold and silver. But why not get paid for it? And with a company that's teaching people with it. Oh, that's 7K medals, isn't it? Just read the mission statement. 
That's what it's all about, that mission statement of 7K. You know, that's really what turned me on and kept me burning. The ability to help people and to be different. And this company wanted to be different than all other network marketing companies. We're just the two percenters made all the money at the top. Everybody else barely making any money or profit or but you know getting him very few less than five percent making significant thousands and thousands of dollars per year in network marketing. All you have to do is look at the statistics of any company of their income disclosure statements. Go to the Direct Sales Association. Look at all that and the statistics there. They're right there. Well, that's our difference. That's our big, that's what sets us apart. And I want to put that statement out there because I'm going to end with three huge statements at the end here. Well, Wayne Clark, everybody knows about Wayne. He became the first executive goal. He became executive goal before me. But Wayne had that burning desire. He had a willingness to work, but he was coachable and teachable. See, he had done network marketing, too, with a company I was familiar with, a company I kept turning down for years to do. And it had a binary. And so he was familiar with a binary, but he really wasn't making any significant income. And I told him he joined us and he didn't even know why you needed to own gold and silver. But he knew it wasn't lotion, potions and pills. And it was an asset after he learned. But he fell in love with the compensation plan. Because he understood the binary. We went right to work. And then we got to Team Steli on his left side and Team Greg and Noel Zerniak on his right side. Boom! Hey, they knew lots of people, and we just worked through their thing. Look, nine months, we built that business. Wayne, Wayne became uh, uh, a silver in 27 days. He earned a $2,000 check his very first week. He became the first 100-ounce silver bar winner in the company. You become silver in your whole your rank. 100-ounce silver bar bonus given by the company. We used that and promoted that. And uh, yeah, Greg and Noel won 100-ounce silver bar. Uh, Brooke Stelly won 100-ounce silver We had 17 other people. Boom, boom, boom. We just kept peaking interest, sharing. I did the first home meeting for Wayne. Showed him how to do it. I did the first uh, meetings with him. We did Zooms. We did everything it took. And we worked as a team. He peaked them, we shared together, or we shared using the tools of the company, and then we would validate the business through three ways or follow-ups together. That's what built the business. Did the same thing with the Stelly, same thing with the Zerniac. Then, you know, COVID came along. Now, I'm focusing here, but I'm still working with my major groups where I'm making pretty much part, you know, a, a significant income with the company before Wayne Clark. Between my wife's check and my check, we were making somewhere between 15, 20,000 every month. That's significant income for doing it part-time, having fun teaching people about gold and silver and having them making money and earning gold and silver too. And building wealth and building an asset base. But that took time. It doesn't just come overnight. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. And we were growing with the company as the company was evolving. So we went through lots of change. I mean, look how many comp plan changes that we went through. From just making $1,000 a week to going to $7,000 to $12,500. And then the changes in internally in between that to what we have today. And I'm going to... I'm going to end with that with part of what we're going to end with. Because today we got the simplest comp plan in the industry and the highest paying comp plan in the industry doing the same things 
There's no other comp plan that pays as high as this one. That part I know. Not with an established company. That's powerful, y'all. This is the opportunity y'all have. This is the opportunity you and your future leaders and your team have before you for the next five, ten years. Yeah, I'm saying next five, ten years. Shouldn't be afraid of that. You need to make a commitment. You need to become a 7K lifer. You got to make a commitment to win. You can't be like the chicken and make a contribution and just give the eggs for breakfast. You got to be like the hog. You got to make a commitment. Well, see, with Wayne Clark and the Stellies on one side, Brooke, Carlin, Dwight, Greg and Noel and Joey Zerniak, and Brooke became the youngest goal, and then followed by Joey Zerniak become the youngest goal in the company. That goal, that developed into Team Corona because we had coronavirus coming around. But at the same time, we were building. See, because Wayne joined in February 15th to 2020, and so did his team. And I'm putting together the team that we had and building. And then I knew at the time we amassed a group, which we had Greg and Noel over in San Antonio. We had some people over in Houston, just dribbles, dribbles. We had some people. And then the Stellies, they, they were in South Louisiana, Lafayette, Bro Bridge, Lake Charles, different city. They were there and some in Baton Rouge. And we had some people in the Baton Rouge area under Wayne. And we had some people over in Mississippi. But it's time to have a, a go and do some concentrated big meetings, do meetings every two hours, bring people in, let these people leverage and bring people in. This is how you create momentum. You create momentum from your own teams. Nobody wanted to do it. It's COVID. If we can't get a place, we can't do this. And so we all got on the phone. I said, Greg, Noel, we need to have it. We're going to do it at your house. Just set it up. Just do it. They did. We went over to San Antonio. And with the group that they had and inviting people to come meet with us, we did presentations every two hours, two and a half days. We had a big meeting that night, you know, meet and greet type stuff. But we had people coming to that that were guests. We had them joining just because of us talking. Maybe we'd break away and go show a quick video presentation, but we press play. We press play. I taught to press play, not to give big slide presentations and PowerPoints. That's not, du that's not duplicatable. Some people are really good at that, but to press play, let the video do the walk and the talk, and then you have the statements before and after and become a great, the presenter needs to become a great question asker. and closer and ask for the business and ask why not if they decide not to. We put in 217 memberships over in San Antonio. Then we stopped in Houston, had a breakfast meeting, had a, had a dinner meeting, a breakfast meeting, and we were enrolling people then and there. Then we went in my car. When we come back, we stopped over in in Beaumont, I did the same thing, stopped in Lake Charles. This all COVID. We had a, but Dwight knew the restaurant owner. We had it done. We had people meet us there. We had a great big table. We all spread ourselves out. And everybody that wasn't a member that joined us became a member. Then we stopped in Bro Bridge. Then we stopped in Baton Rouge. We had filled up George and Sandra's house. We had almost 220 people in that house that night for a potluck, meet and greet, and we had guests there, and we had people enrolling. So that week, we put in about almost 350 new memberships from the time we started to the time we ended. That'll create momentum. That got, that got this young man to executive go real quick before me. I promised Wayne if he would do what I asked, 
do this, make these contacts, work like this, because see, that's how I built my first business back in the 90s. I just wasn't willing to work that hard anymore because I knew mine would come with time. Just like it has. That's what we're going to see. And so I fulfilled that commitment and it cost me money and Wayne knows it. We talked about that. I pushed, 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 pushed him to hurt him become executive coach because I could have been, I had Pamela as a goal and I had George as a goal on my left and right side. And I had a bronze on my right side with, with, with uh, Tiffany and Danny Clements. And all I needed to do is help Woodrow become a, a bronze. And that would have been kind of a cinch. And I showed that to Wayne. Said you make executive go, or I'm going to become it because this is costing me 3,000 bucks because I had the volume too. Okay, that's a big difference. Well, he did it, and he got to be the first executive goal in the company. And I was proud as a papa of him and the hard work that Team Corona had done. But see, Team Corona wasn't my split off from my first. Go for gold team. My original team's a go for gold team. Danny and Tiffany made their break and made their and called it the dream team. And they had their, they were creating their own team where they do some things that's team specific. That's what Team Corona did. Now, Team Corona's grown too. Because see, out of Team Corona, we created those other 7K lifers like Mark Mathern, Renee and Kathy Hidalgo, Coach Kyle, and a couple of the other Baton Rouge police officers that still left. See, I'm only going to talk about the ones that are lifers, the ones that stayed with us, the ones that are still here. Because, see, the quitters can never win. That's one of the traits. You can never win if you're a quitter. You can never win if you hop to another deal. Because you think the grass is greener on the other side. Believe me, it's not. Ronnie and Jackie Shar. Oh, I remember. See, they weren't fast starters, but they were entrepreneurs. And we spent a lot of time. But see, this is the team effort. Wayne likes to go with the jackrabbits. I'll go along with the tortoises. I'll, I'll help them. So it makes a team, see? You can't leave people just because they're not as fast as you. You you accept people for where they at and you try to motivate them and encourage them and move. Shane Wright, Suzanne Wilsey, Glenn Smith, Jason Hathaway, Carl Sepulato, Bill Pruitt, Billy Boyd, Joseph Henry, Brenda Baldwin, Margie and Keith Giffen. See. These are people still here. That's in part of that group. Well, see, about that time, after spending intensive time, like I did with my original left and right teams, those members I talked about, and I spent this intensive time totally in Team Corona for almost 14 months. Then a guy that had network marketing experience was a marketer called Gary Goslin, went to Jim. McClellan and they wanted him and Cheryl Toyofuku and Colleen Nomura wanted some silver and they said let, let me go talk to Jim he was in this gold and silver company he talked to me about nine months ago and see so that's about a year after Wayne joined he went and he Jim put him in touch with George, and George put him in touch with me. They joined, and then George put him in touch with me because he wanted to talk about maybe building. So I talked to Gary Gosselin. I explained the system, what we do, how we do it, how we peak, how we share, and how we launch. I said, if you build a team up over there, y'all, you, Cheryl, Colleen, Jim, Bring, go out, bring people to your condo because COVID was going to, and their bigger shutdown 
than Louisiana. Louisiana wasn't a shutdown. Louisiana, uh, Hawaii is worse than New York. You had to wear a mask on the beach or they'd find you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. well, anyway, they'd go out and they'd bring people back. They'd show them the video. I'd get on a, on a, on a Zoom with them. We'd talk. We'd answer questions. And they built up a group, a team of about 50, 60 people over a few months because, see, that was in February of 2021 when Gary Goslin, Cheryl Toyo Vuku, and Colin Nomura joined. Yeah, I know these names. You know why? Because I work with them intently. We work as a team together. Together, everyone achieves more. That's what team means. I gave that presentation for the company at the New York Regional in 2019. That's when Jason had joined the company and was becoming CEO, was CEO. And we did the New York Regional. Tiffany and Danny remember that. They made that track, got lost their per. Oh, it was, but you know, the reason I'm mentioning some of the regionals here is there's just something else here that I need to talk about before I move into how Team Hawaii, the 7K Hawaii Ohana team. So now they have their team name and they have their own band app that they communicate and we put, and I put all my training. But of course, I put all my trainings on the YouTube too. So the whole company can benefit from it. Because see, I had, we had 19 people from Baton Rouge. You had, the business started in Idaho, Idaho Falls, where the company's at. And Montana, they that group's pretty close to Idaho. We way down here in Louisiana, man. <clears throat> and then I got people in Arkansas and Dallas and all spread out over New Mexico, all spread out all over the places in my group that I explained. But, you know, we had 19 people at that grand opening. They went. 19. Then the first regional that we have in Dallas, Texas, Danny and Tiffany came, and that's where Danny joined. Tiffany was already in. But Danny came to babysit, and then all of a sudden we got him involved. But, you know, I had, oh, maybe it's 50, 60 people somewhere, maybe more than that, sitting in that regional. I had maybe a third or more of the room were in my group. Getting people from event to event is how you build momentum. And any of you know that I had 75% of the room in the New Orleans convention for 7K. We went to Miami and 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 in, in 2019 in New York, I had at least a third of the room was in my business attending. How do I get them? We promote, we promote, we encourage, we get people to bring people because you need to have one on your left and one on the right at these meetings with you. Attending events is critical. George and Sandra and I have never missed a 7K event. And most of the time we go together, never miss a 7K event since this company started. I don't care if it's a getaway or if it's a, uh, a, a convention. And, and then most regionals, I, I, all the regionals they did before they had an annual convention, we attended. Every one of them. Didn't matter where it was at. Montana, we went. Dallas, we went. New York, we win. So attending week. Well, see, then we we had that group in Hawaii, to, going back to Gary Garden, they were bringing people. And so we had a group of about 56 people, and they said, well, you need to come over. Well, that's a big trip. That's a very expensive trip. You need to understand that this was my bank side. George or I had to go. George said, you need to go. So I went. We went and we went to work. We have Gary Goslin and, and then put together Jim, Gary, the team over there, put together meetings every two hours, every day. And we had a home meeting at different locations every evening. All planned, all the itinerary, everybody promoting that itinerary, promoting to bring guests, committing to bring people there. 
And we put in, I had to extend the stay and ended up staying a whole week instead of five days. Went to work. I didn't go to vacation. We put in 308 memberships in that period of time. People bring in people, people join in, go out and bring in their left and right to us. And we just kept doing the same thing over and over. Just like we did in San Antonio, just like we did in Houston, just like we did in, 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 in Bro Bridge, just like we did in Baton Rouge, just like we did in every other place, just like I started it. And we still have our weekly meeting at George's every Tuesday night without fail, unless we're traveling or they're sick. And our people still have their meetings. Catherine and Tony Bass didn't form their team. Team Bass. Everybody, everybody knows the Basses. They're, they're our tax people, right? They, 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 they're the ones that give the presentation on taxes and things and, and, and becoming debt-free, the, the money management portion. So, yeah, you know the Basses. And the reason I mention their names is because they're going to be true future leaders in this company with their team. I've already mentioned their team. So now let's move down and see, you know, what developed. That was Tom and Christy Lundell and their Lundell and their family. Tarita and Gara Tehotu. Te, te Hotu, and their family. Notice it's families, Ann Kialoa and family, Olav and Valerie, Sydney Hoist, Dustin Solars, Ronald and Beverly Jones, Gloria and Joseph Magal, Dar Hogstead. She's on this. Uh, here today. So is Torita, John Vieira, Darren Agbayani. Oh, man, I am so proud of Darren and how he's stuck with it, how he's done this thing and still there. Lynette Shima, Sh Shimabukuro. Okay, get a little Japanese here. Okay, and so James Dickens, Tony and Janie's fight master. See, they made up that Team Hawaii. Now, Team Hawaii was on the right side of Shane Vaughn, who was just basically a customer, made a little bit of check here and there, but all their points went up to them. This is very important for y'all to understand with our new compensation plan, because it even gets better for y'all in the future. The same thing can happen to every one of you. If you got the patience, if you got the persistence, if you got the vision to see what I'm trying to tell you. And if you become that leader to help implement this and help build those teams, help them build teams. See, I'm just a team builder. That's all. I just help people see their vision. I just help people implement and become part of what they do. Well, Shane had all this volume, so I give Shane a phone call. He's he's a he's a pastor. He's full time pastor. That's that. His, this ministry is his ministry, not building network marketing businesses. I said, look at what all you got. You just need one good worker on your left and one good worker on your right, and this can help fund a lot of ministries for you. Give me one. He gave me Kim and Prentice Wiley. Wiley. Y'all all know Kim and Prentice. They both became goals. And we went to work helping them, helping chain, helping build a bit. They put that team together. And then you end up with the other workers, the other members, the other people who want to succeed too in the future. The Robert Barlows, the Cliff and April Rickmans, the Thomas Morgans and fans. All will family. The Angela and Anthony Schumer, the Dwayne Beck. And we all go through trying. You know, my heart just aches for Dwayne because his wife just recently. But Dwayne's still here. He never stopped buying his coin. He never stopped. And he, my heart aches for Dwayne. We've had 
we've had people that have passed on in our business since we started. And their families, some didn't want to pursue. And they had a tremendous business that they could have pursued. But it, they didn't see the vision. The Kevin Edmiston, the Jerry Forbes. See, Jerry's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that name because she is going to succeed. She's succeeding, and but she's going to succeed big time. Because, see, she's a lifer. She she is going to do what it takes to learn the skills, attitudes, and take and do the IPA so that she can succeed by helping somebody become her partner on her left and partner on her right. When she finds those real people that's willing to do what she's willing to do, they're going to win. And see, that that all went. I'm focusing there. I'm, of course, supporting my team, Corona. I'm supporting my team back. I'm supporting my dream team with Danny and Tiffany. I'm supporting. I'm there. They need me. They need me to do a three-way. They need me to do a meeting. They need me to whatever. I respond, I'm there. See, my job is to be there for them. My job is to help them resolve problems. And that's what I've been doing. Because I'm investing into them. But I built first. I'm going to explain that in just a second. You're going to see it clearly. And then that led to the PSI team that joined uh, on the left side of Shane. So instead of his right side being his big side, his left side kind of robbed all of his points as he said. Well, actually, it just paid him a lot. And then, and then, it kept building, and then it his left side became his bank side. You will flip flop just like I flip flop three or four times, just like Wayne has flip flopped now. See, the Stellies in the left side was always his big side. The Zerniacs was his pay side for about the first year and a half or more, and see. Then we had the PSI team building, it had growing that started in 2021 in August, had the first three presidentials, had the Podfather team, the Our Silver Lines team developed from, Company Two team developed from. Then you get the lifers in there, the people that evolved from that. Okay? You get the Lynn Doties, the Jim and Joy Barbarosas, the Tana Stevenson, the Tracy Brubachers, the Amanda Toronas, the Aaron Dozinski, and there are many more. Because I had more gold and silver. I had more 100-ounce silver ball winners in this team than any other team, more than 41 of them. And then the 17 in the original team Corona, and it went on to evolve into 39. And then Team Hawaii won 14. See, winning that 100-ounce silver bar. 100-ounce silver bar is available to every one of you now, and that's what we want to talk about too. All the new people coming in in your team, and you want to help them win that. See, that's what helped promote and grow momentum because other people in 7K were seeing what our teams were doing in, in Corona. And instead of the company being shut down because other than our business, the rest of the company saw you could do business in Corona if you do it the way we were doing. And so it up motivated the entire company and they all went back to work even during Corona. We had our own scripts for Corona for peaking interest at that time. I wrote up new ones. Now, with that going on, then Greg and Noel took a grow, growing and building, and and they get uh, the core box joining the team in 2022 on their team. Now, the core box had experience in network marketing. They came with knowledge and experience, and they came with a, a sphere of influence and with leaders that they already knew, and then bingo, you have another new team developing the Dream Builders team. Greg, Noel, Zerniak, 
David and Nicole Korbach and their leaders like Ronnie and Mac McClenahan and Liz and Jack, uh, Liz and Greg Jack, uh, Ron Kitchen, Greg and Leslie Cunningham, Jerry and Pamela uh, Janicek, Emmy Jones, uh, Kelly Newboat, his Korbach's uh, brother, Patrick Wendell, and more and more and more. I just don't have all the names, but these are the the ex, the new lifers and a whole nother team coming in that is going to be here because of what we have coming. And see, then that led to the next spurring of new teams out of that PSI team, like, like M Squared Group from Mike McDonough, the Silver Connection uh uh, a network team from Derek French and Brandy and Chad Riley and Dan Daniel Robeson and Betsy and Sean Mel and others. And then we got another new team developing under uh, George again with Roger Simmons and his group, brand new team helping grow. And that's in Idaho. So see, we're ping ponging now all around the world. Like I told everybody we would, we would be ping ponging around the world. <clears throat> and so run then <clears throat> and I have worked intently with every one of these teams that I've mentioned. Every one of them I've dug in and worked right down into into the the, uh, the sandbox with them. Three ways, solving problems, talking to people, talking to people, their prospects, answering questions, handling objections as a team. And then this past year, Wayne has brought in the Chamberlains, Jenny Chamberlain, Brian, Matthew Parr, Boss Moss and Brandon. Well, see, that team I haven't worked intently with. They haven't asked me. They haven't, I'm available. But of course, Brian's a, so now I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if he thinks he needs help. He, he, he teaches, he, he does, but he teaches the same thing, how we built the business. Now the whole company is getting the benefit of peaking, sharing, launch. And I just showed you how we peaked, shared, and launched from the beginning eight years ago until right now. And we're still doing it. Now I'm going to share a few more screens with y'all because I want you to see what I'm talking about. And I want you to understand, I have the largest personal enrollment group in this company. There is no other leader. And this isn't bragging about me. I'm bragging about my group. Because, see, if it's not about all these people that I talked about, I would not have that. And if it's not for the new people joining and making this even more successful in the future, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a legacy business for my children's children, and I know that's what each and every one of you want to do. Now, how, much, how long will it take one to do it? It's taken me eight years to get here, and I'm not where I want to go. I'm 78, so I still got a few more good kicks in me. By the way, I hadn't found anyone that could outwork me yet. And so that's my challenge to any of the new people that's here in my group, I want to see you outwork me. Okay? That's my challenge. Do you have that burning desire? Do you have the willingness to do the work, the work that it takes? Are you coachable and teachable? And then can you duplicate that? So whatever you do, you have to duplicate. I've duplicated it. Now, if my leaders choose to do something different in the future, now that's on them. I've already shown how. And I encourage those to go with my seven pieces of paper. Because, see, that gives the vision, that gives the commitment, that gives, it's not, that's not the IPAs. That's not the techniques. That's not the skills. But this is the attitudes. This is what you need to do. It's the definition. It's the commitment, especially those first two pieces of paper. And you've got to develop those three beliefs that I end up on pay, piece of paper number seven. And you've got to have exponential growth, and that comes with time. If it's either 
12 weeks, 12 months, 12 years. But if you end up with a thousand people on your left team and a thousand people on your right team buying a 20 point coin, that's 20,000 points. You can make a $20,000 check in a month that you can make $5,000 every week, but you better be a goal. So you need to have eight actors left, eight actors right. You see, it's that easy now. You don't have to have a goal on your left, goal on your right, a left, and all that kind of stuff anymore. And when you get rank in this business, you know those people made that money because if you're not making the money in that four-week period, you don't get that rank. So I had to make 30000 in a four-week period to become an executive goal. Now, I almost did it several times in the past. Even under the 5 PEG, eight week, more than eight weeks ago, nine weeks ago, I had $29,500. I had all the volume. I had all the personals. But I didn't have that 30000 and they didn't rank me up to executive goal either. I'm going to show you something here. Okay. Let's share the screen real quick. I want to I want to kind of put the icing on the cake. But one of the things I want to put the icing on the cake with is this. It is so true. If you help enough people get what they want, you will be blessed with what you want. It'll come as a blessing. Like mine has come as a blessing because of each and every one of you. Every one of you. You are my blessing and my wife's blessing <clears throat> and my children's children's blessing. So let me let me see uh, if I can share this real quick. Just kind of walk down a little road of, of history here. Let me just see if uh, <clears throat> if I'm going to I'm going to just show you a screen. Okay. Okay. This is my total downline. As of 11-3-24. Number of people in my business. <clears throat> 26,943. Okay. So let's look at what is called your personal enrollment group. Because see, that personal enrollment group is where your growth factor comes, right? <coughs> uh, for some reason, I can't pull it up. Maybe it's here. Nope, that's the downline again. One second, I'll get it. It'll get there. Oh, I was hoping I could just kind of click through. I didn't have enough time to do what I, <laughs> I wanted to do, y'all. I'm sorry. That's the right side. Well, anyway, I just wanted to, so this is not me saying this stuff. This is just the way it really is. For some reason, it's not there. And I can't find it on my share screen. I'm going to come back to this because I'm going to get to what I want to, the other thing I want to share real quick, and I'll come back. Here we go. There we go. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see this. That's the PEG group. Same date. 
I told you, Madonna. So I don't have a lot of people being put underneath me. Now, I've got more since we've gone to a PEG group than I ever had. It's because people need to have their, they needed when they had five growth level. Okay, now we have your entire PEG group, you get growth level on. This is what you want. You want a large B. What is a PEG group? That's you sponsor a person who sponsored a person who sponsored a person who sponsored. I just went through the big names in the groups. Those all are in 7K because of our group. They're all linked to us by genealogy. No one above me put these people underneath me. They came from me sponsoring someone, helping them, helping them sponsor from. It's what I call leapfrogging. So I just showed y'all how I've leapfrogged and went from one organization to a hot organization, helped them create momentum, helped them create momentum, helped them create momentum. The new ones and the newest people are the hottest people in your business. You go with your hot people and you don't divorce your old people. They're always there. You're always there for them. So that's my personal engrovement group. So how many ever levels it goes and it keeps growing because see, they're going to invite people in the future and they're going to invite people and that extends that personal enrollment group. And that's really what I wanted you to see is that personal enrollment group. And then what I also want you to see, I'm going to come back and uh, try and find, I've, I've lost a screen share somewhere. I can't find it. I apologize for this, but uh, it should have been here. It must have closed out on me, <clears throat> but I'll see if I can't open it up anyway again. Uh, but if you'll remember back in the old days, you know, Let's go to 2022. Let's look at last year. Uh, they, see, this is back when I had goals. See, I had my goal on my right and my goal on my left already. They were in my business. We were the top earners. That's 2022, y'all. And I was the top earner. Recognize that that in the ground. So, and and it it is just more than just that is what I'm trying to explain to you. Uh, and this is what I want you to understand why our comp plan today, and as they have explained it, is so much better and exactly what we want for our business and for the future stability of 7K, because see, that was overall, regardless of what rank you were, this was the top earners. So my, my presidential goal, I just eat them out and earning more money that year because he wasn't in a whole year. And, neither, and Ryan Hutchison was, but we had two of us goals making more money well, then people of higher rank. So rank wasn't meaning that you were earning that money. It meant that you could, completed this rank thing. That's what the company's gotten away with, gotten away from. And that's what's so great about our new comp plan. And the fact that we can use our entire personal enrollment group because you're the cause of factor of bringing this whole business to 7k and you should get rewarded for it. That's what this is all about. And we need to explain that. I'm told I'm here explaining it to my group. So when you see people walking across the stage in the future and they're a silver and they're a gold and they're a executive goal and their presidential goal, they make they make that money. They're part of that income disclosure statement. Okay? But they're part of 
it going up instead of just getting rank and not making the money and bringing those averages down. That's going to be a big win in the future. And I want people to understand that big time. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try and, and bring up my other, my other screen here and I, and I'm wanting, uh, if I can, I'm going to exit out of quite a bit of stuff here. If y'all don't mind. And I'm gonna bring up that last thing I want to share about, and then how I want to, I want to end. It. Okay, I found it. Okay, it is there. So I'm gonna go back, go back. I just didn't know what I was looking for. Okay, uh, that is super. And go back to full screen here. Uh, yeah, full screen. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to share again one more time, okay? And I know what I'm looking for right now. Oh, uh, I don't know why I didn't see it, okay? Because it was there the whole time. I just couldn't find it, okay? There we go. Okay, everybody knows what this is. These are our preferred options that we have, okay? And I, I'm not going to train on this today, but this is what I want to show you, the seven pieces of paper. See, this gets the commitment. This gets the understanding right up front. It's not a grit rich quick. You will have to learn skills, attitudes, and tech. There is a way to do it, but we can earn money fast if we do it the right way and we use the right words and the right tools. And there is a way to do it, and it's a proven fact. What do you have to do? We give you your job description right off the bat. This is five peaks a day, five touches, five peaks. I talk to business forever. All I want is a commitment of five to 10 hours out of your life, but most of it you're going to do. This doesn't take that time because your team is going to answer the questions, handle the objections for you. You are not supposed to do that because you give the wrong impression unless until you get to where you are a silver you are a lifer you've got the years of experience you've got that knowledge that's fine but you're always better off letting somebody else do it and using the team approach because that person is going to think they got to learn what you learn and they don't have time for that that's the trick that's the real trick you will be doing a lot of learning and you got to build your list. If you five step this list, you will not build. You got to build that list up to 500 people. Then you put your people on your left team and your right team. You're going to get credit for all that volume. And as I teach, when you get just 25 people on this team and 25 people on this team, and if you've got a business family pack, you're in total control and you need to learn what that means. 25 people is 500 points, 500 points. That's a $500 check a month that pays for your coin. You get 1099 tax benefits and you're building a business. And those 25 people can exponentiate. Your people you personally bring in can exponentiate. People that are placed under you, you can exponentiate. Won't count growth factor, but that's okay. You don't need to be concerned until you're growing about growth factor. That's another great thing about, and this is why the power of two in exponential expansion works. And it doesn't matter if this takes you 12 months or 12 years. What else are you doing? Wouldn't you rather change the 10-year plan in, from the 60-year plan into a 10 or 15-year plan? and earn gold and silver and build assets and accumulate wealth in the process while you're doing it? That's what you got to learn to ask people when they have an objection. It's working for everybody else. Why can't it work for you and me? And if it's working for you, say it's working for me and I had the same attitude that you did in the beginning, if that's true. That's why attitude's so important. That's why you need to become a 7K lifer and you need to develop these three. When you develop these three beliefs, you will succeed. There's no doubt about it. Because now we got the greatest comp plan in the history of this industry 
and it all fits on one page. So as you're building, you don't even have to worry about growth factor come, come, come out of Mac. You're going to get way more than you need. And you get your two personals on the left, two personals on the left, bill yourself to a $1,000 check every week, get yourself prepared to get to that $2,000 check. And as I said, even with the five level that we had in the interim, getting here to this comp plan, it's the greatest comp plan to make a six-figure income that exists in network marketing industry because we're an asset-based company in addition. Now, look, you got a business family pack? If you got a business family pack, just think about three of these $12,500 a week. You know? That's only 37500 right? Times 54? You're talking about over $2 million a year? That's nice commissions. Isn't that something to work for? Because... Remember, it all comes under you, and you can come and build these later after you're making the money and really exponentiate. That's what it's all about, everybody. And that's where the future is. And that's why I like to build with the power of four, because you get your two on the left, two on the right that comes in just like you. You got all your money back. You got gold in your hand, and you got silver in your hand. And you got all your money back for your lifetime membership, legacy VIP. We need to duplicate this over and over and over and over with every new person that comes in. And we help them get their two on their left and two on their right, just like they came in and duplicate this. And we're going to make help people make more money than they ever made in their lives when they're building wealth. They're building wealth in what? They're collectible coins and they're bullion. And if they follow the process of buying a little bit every month, a little bit every week, a little bit, instead of, and they will build up a savings that will never go bankrupt. It will only accumulate wealth. We're an asset-based gold and silver company not a lotions and potions expense company. We're building assets instead of spending money on a consumable or a product that has an expiration date. At the same time that we're building a business to exponentiate on in the future of this company. I'm going to pop to the income disclosure statement real quick. But before I do that, uh, I want to go back a couple of names here. I'm only going to do a couple of names because I want to show you what it means. Okay. You remember on that left side, Armina McVeigh, she was a single mom, disabled military vet, living paycheck to paycheck, had no savings, trying to help her son, put her son through college as a single disabled, single mom, disabled military vet living paycheck to paycheck. She came to one of our meetings. She wanted to join to make extra income. I mean, that was what you, it's something she could do as a disabled vet living at home. And, and so it's she saw that she could do to learn how to do this, but she didn't have the money to do it. She came to two other meetings. She joined on the third meeting, the third week that she came, she had finally enough set aside, she could pay her bill and then join with her membership. But I told her, do not join unless you can buy your coin every month because you can't make money. You can't accumulate those points. You can't let points build up for you so you can earn a check and they're going to go away. And you're going to be building what this is going to become your savings plan for your future. Just look at it that way. Do whatever it takes Change your budget to whatever it takes that you must buy that coin. She it took her 10 months before she made her first check, but she bought her coin. She came to the me. She did that job description. She did that job description that I just showed you. Because we showed her that's what it takes. And you got to make this commitment. She made her first check. 
then here we are. She's about three and a half years now in the business with us, Amina McVeigh. And Amina has about $23,000 in her stock and sell and about $8,500 in her sound money wallet. So she's got about $32,000 in gold and silver savings that she's never had a savings before in her life. And she had to earn income to be able to do that. Because her disability check wasn't going up that much. So she's an example. Hey, it's not get rich quick. And she's still doing it. And she's bringing in people. She may not be bringing in hordes of people, but she brings them in one or two a year. But all she needs is one good one on her left, one good one. on. She already has one good one on one side now. She already has a partner. Now she's looking for that other partner. And when she gets that, Katie barred the door. And I'm going to end this with that OS curve that I was talking about at the beginning. That's Armina McVeigh. Let's talk about Woodrow Venable. Retired. Couldn't... Woodrow couldn't even open up an email. He couldn't send a text. He couldn't read it. He, he could, we taught him how to read a text. We had to teach him how to get into his back office. Woodrow Venable, if I go back to 20, 20, uh, 2022 and uh, uh, 2019, Woodrow was top earning copper for multiple years in the company. Oh, well, y'all all know what a copper can earn. And if he was the number one in the company, so he must have earned that pretty good bit. But see, he was retired carpenter, worked for Georgia Pacific for 38 years. And Woodrow, one of the first ones. And, you know, he almost made bronze a couple of times, but he couldn't quite get there. He needed a couple more. Need I know at one time he only needed three slots because he would have been my bronze. I already had it on my, and that would have made me executive goal. Way back in 2020, I would have had the title. Oh, yeah, I'd have made some $10,000 checks here and there uh, in between. But that wasn't the point. See, here's the point with Woodrow. Woodrow has over $90,000 in gold and silver savings. That won't go bankrupt on him. Now, all he has is a very meager retirement check and Social Security coming in. He's 80 years young. See, the two people I put on my right are both older than me. I'm 78. George is 80. And so is Woodrow. Let's talk about on my right, Delton and Cindy Kaysen. They were up in medical bills debt. No longer owned a home, renting. Living paycheck to paycheck, working 60 plus hours a week. And he should have been retired. When he got home about 11 o'clock that night and called me, well, he got his family business back. He wasn't going to not have that when I explained it. But the one on his right side, he had to go under other people. He didn't get it connected right to him because I already placed Richard Witt and a couple of other people there. Okay. So, Delton and Cindy sacrificed. They did the job description. They did what I said. They He had no time, but they gave me their contact. They contacted the family. I contacted them. I followed up for them. We worked as a team. They brought the contacts to the table and I helped exponentiate them. It worked for them and it worked for me. They became Pamela's first silver on her right side to become Pamela to become a goal after Wayne became a silver on her left side. 
And Pamela was my first goal on my right side and George, my first goal on my left. I said, but let's take Cindy and Delta today. They did. They, they kept, as I teach, do not spend your cash emission check until you get a year's worth of auto savers built up in your 7K cash. So you got to plan on business going awry. They did that. Buy a little bit of gold and silver every month to ship with your auto saver if you want it with you, or buy some every month in your sound money wallet. Make that a habit. Make that part of a bill you got to pay. But you're building wealth over time. They did that today. They have over a quarter million dollars worth of savings, and he finally retired from his job. Now he's taking care of his wife and his mother-in-law. So now he's a caregiver, health provider, caregiver. But he's able to do that because of 7K. Cheryl Toyo Fuko over in Hawaii was taking care of her 90-plus-year-old mom and her four grandchildren attended to them, and this provided the income that she could do that with. There are thousands of, I'm not talking about one or two, there are thousands of stories in my group like this left and right team. There are thousands of people who never owned gold and silver and now have a savings in gold and silver. They have an asset that they're in control of, not the government, not anybody else. They're in control of. And we have just started. So here we are. We're a company eight years old. They're established. They're a major player in the gold and silver market. They're an established leader in modern collectibles. And with the standish coins, that, that set them on a, on a place that nobody else had. We have so many collections that are going to be valuable, in, in my opinion, in the future. In this new asthmatic world, we're a force of good. And again, this is to help enough people get what they want. You will be blessed with what you want. This is an income disclosure. Read it. Hear it. See it. People actually making this kind of income with this company. I know I'm one of them. Okay? So is Curtis. So is Wayne. So are a few other leaders in this country. So it's Diane Graver, the Mich Mark Mashad, Danielle, Kathy Cuzo, uh, on and on and on. We've got great leaders, Mediba, Yuri Mendez. We've got great leaders in this company. But the future leaders are yet to come, and they can be on your left and right teams, just like the leaders are in my left and right team, that their business and their growth will bless my children's children just like it would be for you. I want you to understand the bigger picture. I want you to understand what you can really be blessed with. And I'm going to leave it with this one little picture that I saw that came out and I grabbed it because it just hit the point that explains everything that, that I know and understand. The next person God is about to bless is you. Get ready because you're in 7K and if you make that commitment, you get that burning desire. You have that willingness to work. You're coachable and teachable, and you integrate into our total company-wide peak share launch the way I've built our team and our business for eight years. You will be blessed beyond your wildest imagination. 
I hope you see what I see. I'm sorry if it took a little bit of time to understand the full story, but sometimes you just can't get it in just short little statements. And I really don't have the hundred. See, the hundreds of stories of the extra money people are making, how it's changing their lives and how we're being a part of fulfilling the company's mission and their mission statement. And I encourage everyone to go back and actually read the mission statement from the founders that they created 7K because they genuinely believe they want to improve the lives of people around the world. We're about to go through global expansion over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. we got 82 more countries, Western countries, to open up around the world. They have watched way too many of their friends struggle as the economy fluctuates. Employment issues arise or unexpected changes come up in life. How many times do we see that? How many times have we experienced that? Using the power of gold and silver, we believe we can provide a way for people to create financial independence, preserve wealth, and live an exceptional life. That's what turned me on. And that's what we've done. Thanks to each and every one of you. And there's more yet to be done. Join us. We're a force of good. Let's go out and communicate that. And the next person God is about to bless is you. Get ready. Amen. 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 I'm trying to stop the recording. It won't stop for some reason. Maybe it's because I'm sharing my screen, huh? I don't know. <laughs>